Hi, my name is Zarya, and today I'm going to be making a solar oven. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. A solar oven is not that hot, and solar uses energy to harness from the sun. This is a fifth grade science project, but me and you, that is all the creative kids out there, are smart enough we can do it. First of all, the ingredients that we need, especially this. What we need is black paper. And the reason why we need black paper is because it harnesses the energy from the sun. It's, it could be dark paper, like brown paper, but I recommend black paper. I got a lot of it. You need saran wrap. This one we is really clear, so it's good to see through. We got it at Albertsons, but I think you can get it at Target. And we got tin foil. I'm sure you know where to get that because it's also at Albertsons. Um, but scissors. These are really sharp, so I'm gonna be really careful. Some pens. I only need one, but I just couldn't decide which one. So, I mean, I wanted to show both of them. We got some glue and marker. And the last thing you need is a pizza box. The bigger one might have a bigger cooking meat than the smaller one and might cook better in the big one or the small one. Also, I forgot one more ingredient. You will need a stick, a toothpick. We have one of them, we just didn't show it, but it's to open up your box while it's sweet. It takes about 90 minutes to cook. We are gonna show you the results every 10 minutes. You should roast it with graham crackers and chocolate, but if you don't want them, then don't have them. Before I say anything, don't forget to subscribe. Step one, take your pizza box. Now you're gonna take your pen, I'll use this one, and you're gonna make a line. They gave me a great line area. It has words around it. Alrighty, so I'm gonna cut. While you're cutting, remember don't cut the full square. Leave the back part of the pizza box to make an oven window because this back part, you wanna leave so it's a flap and it opens. The step two is to color. on the back side, it doesn't really work. It reflects here instead of there, and we want it to reflect here onto this side into our marshmallow, because it's gonna be open like this. Now that we did the top of the box, let's now do the bottom. The reason why we use um, tin foil is because it reflects the sun. The reason why we use black paper is because dark colors I'm gonna attract light colors. Uh, step four, and, um, we're gonna open the box and cut the black piece of paper. So step five, um, the last step. Open the piece of the which one will melt faster. I feel like this one's gonna do better because of the black paper and dark paper reflects sun onto it. My hypothesis is that this one will work more than that. The bigger one will work on the smaller one because of the black paper. It looks like that chocolate's melting faster because it's on the top, um, but which marshmallow is melting faster? The smaller marshmallows, that one's, um, I feel like these ones are melting faster too because it's a smaller pox so. We're gonna check again in 15 minutes. What I'm trying to see is this top one's melting a lot. Ooh, I can feel it. Also gets squishy, but um, I feel like these mini marshmallows um, in both sections um, are not really melting that much because they're on the sides. I feel like this has melted a lot, but I feel like this marshmallow hasn't melted um, since we checked on it, and so has this one. But this melted stuff compared to this. So I think the bottom one's working better because 
of the black paper, and this one's not working so well because of the tin foil. And but the top, you put it right to the top, so the tin foil is kind of affecting it. So it hasn't been much change. It's been 45 minutes. Here's the much change. Oh, look, this chocolate crack. It looks a teeny bit more melted. This chocolate's really melting. This looks more melted than this. Outside, it's very crusty and hard. These ones, the black paper block, mm -hmm. they're not as crunchy. So it has a little bit of a hard shell on the outside oh. and a really gooey inside. Wow. Wow. It's really gooey. So this one in the silver box got actually more melted. So this chocolate is easy to, very easy to crush. But this one I can't even crush because it's too melted. So the conclusion is the small box worked more. So my hypothesis was half wrong because I thought the smaller box would do better, but like the black paper I thought would do better.